Now batting the right fielder, number four, Drew Darden. Standing just 60 feet, six inches away from home plate, a pitcher relies on the complex laws of physics to guide his next pitch in for a strike. Here we go. Whether he's throwing for power or finesse, his main objective is to transmit energy to the ball by generating momentum with his body. To do this, he has created a dance-like routine called a wind-up. This motion involves a biomechanical principle called sequential summation of movement. In other words, largest body masses move first, followed by progressively smaller ones. The pitcher starts the process by shifting his weight through his legs and hips, and then thrusting his body forward. Over three horsepower is generated in his body, which moves through his shoulders, arms, wrists, and finally fingers. Releasing the pitch, he transfers roughly one and a half horsepower to the ball. But as soon as the ball is released, air friction starts slowing it down at a rate of about one mile an hour every seven feet. This means a fastball clocked at 100 miles an hour as it crosses home plate, actually at a release point, a muzzle velocity of 108 miles an hour. An overpowering fastball is what every pitcher strives for. The laws of physics tell us that the force of the pitch is greatly affected by two factors. Power generated in the legs as the pitcher drives toward the plate and arm trajectory. The advantage here goes to a taller pitcher. Just as a twirling rock on a long string has more angular momentum than the same rock on a short string, a tall pitcher can release a ball with less force and still achieve the same velocity as a shorter pitcher. But no matter how fun it is to see a flamethrower hurl the ball at 100 miles an hour, a true fan only cares about the end results. <laughs> 